How to tell wild animals. There are many wild animals, like lion, tiger, leopard, bear, crocodile, hyena, and chameleon. It is very difficult to identify these wild animals. That is why Carolyn Wells has written this poem to teach how to identify wild animals. Let's start. If ever you should go by chance to jungles in the east, and if there should you advance, a large and tawny beast. If he roars at you, as you die, you'll know, it is the Asian lion. In this stanza, the poet is given the idea to identify the Asian lion. If you see a large and tawny beast. Tawny? Tawny means, of yellowish brown color. So if you see a large and tawny beast, and if he roars so strong, that you can digest by hearing his roar, be sure, that it is the Asian lion. Or if sometime, when roaming round, a noble wild beast greets you. With black stripes on a yellow ground, just notice, if he eats you. This simple rule may help you learn, the Bengal tiger to discern. If you see an animal, with black stripes on his yellow body, just wait, and see if he eats you. This simple rule will help you discern the Bengal tiger, means, this rule will help you to recognize the Bengal tiger, if strolling forth, a beast you view, whose hide with spots is peppered, as soon as he is leapt on you, you'll know it is the leopard. Twill do no good to roar with pain, he'll only lep and lep again. If you see an animal, whose hide is peppered with spots, hide, skin of animal, as soon as he has leapt on you, you will know, it is a leopard. But what does leapt mean? Actually, the correct spelling is L E A P T and not L E P T. And it means the leopard jumps on you. But the poet has used the wrong spelling. Even if you cry with pain, it will not stop jumping on you. It will only lep and lep again. Lep? Here also, it is the wrong spelling. The right one is L E A P leap. Why has the poet written lep then lep? instead of leapt and leap. She has used the wrong spelling just to make these words rhyme with peppered. Peppered has pep sound. Therefore, leapt and leap instead of leapt and leap. If when you're walking round your yard, you meet a creature there who hugs you very, very hard, be sure it is a bear. If you have any doubts, I guess he'll give you just one more caress. If you meet a creature who hugs you very, very hard, be sure it is a bear. But if you're still alive and have any doubts, he will just give you one more caress. Caress means loving touch. In humans, it's like. But if a bear gives you a caress, you will hopefully die. Though, to distinguish beasts of prey, a novice might non plus. The crocodile you always may tell from the hyena thus. Hyenas come with merry smiles, but if they weep, they're crocodiles. A novice might non plus to distinguish beasts of prey. Novice, beginner. Non plus, be confused. Beasts of prey, animals that hunt other animals for food. Means, for distinguishing the beasts of prey, a beginner might be confused. How will you distinguish? between crocodiles and hyenas. Hyenas are always smiling, and crocodiles are always weeping. That is, crying. The true chameleon is small, a lizard sort of thing. He hasn't any ears at all, and not a single wing. If there is nothing on the tree, tis the chameleon you see. Now in the last stanza, the poet helps us identify a chameleon. It is small, looks like a lizard, has no ears and no wings. And also, you know, it changes its color to the color of the surface. So, you will not be able to see it on a tree. So, if you can see nothing on a tree, chances are, there is a chameleon there. That's how you tell wild animals. A humorous poem, by Carolyn Wells. She told us the rules to identify wild animals. Remember to try these rules out, if you get a chance to go to a jungle, <laughs> Please like and share this video.
and subscribe to my channel for more such videos of class 10. Ugh.